Good morning, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All I want for Christmas. night and we're taking over london yay i know i sound excited but honestly i'm really not excited so i quickly check into my hotel i'm i'm out and about to going to go for food i'm really starving i couldn't get any place to book because most of the places were fully booked so um i picked an uber to piccadilly circles and the lightning in piccadilly circles is incredibly beautiful guys look at the light it made me so excited i love christmas and i love christmas light so looking at this made made me so happy guys the details the details like guys look at it it made me so excited anyway for some reason there were a lot of people on the street and i don't even know why because i thought i was going to meet an empty street in london well birmingham was so empty everybody was at home doing their own thing but london is nearly the opposite look at the amount of people on the street in london anyway so this is the place i'm supposed to go for food i got there and the whole the restaurant is completely shut closed no lights nothing Meanwhile, they accepted my bo my bookings online for eight thirty to come in to get some food. Look at me, frustrated, hungry, and a little bit upset. And it was drizzling on and it was drizzling on top. So I didn't know what to do. I'm like, okay, fine. Let's find something to do. We're on the streets of London. Um, let's look for a place to get food. And I did. I decided to walk around and i didn't really know where i was going i just followed the crowd because a lot of people were going this direction i'm like okay let me just follow the crowd so i followed them and i got to this place it looked like a chinatown but i don't even know what it's called and then i also found a lot of restaurants opposite each other so i'm like okay great i can find food almost all the restaurants were closed it wasn't completely closed there were people inside but some way somehow they were full to capacity so they couldn't take any one so i found this restaurant it's called the nonlu buffet it's a chinese buffet that you go in to to get food i saw a lot of people queuing in to go get food so i'm like okay let me just take a sneak peek of what it looks like so i took this video outside the restaurant and people were just you know serve yourself you just go in there pay and get what you want so i also realized that to eat in is 15 pound and to take away is seven pound so well i was i managed to get in and those two couples sitting in front of me i don't remember their name but shout out to them they were an angel sent to me to help me out because once i joined that long queue and i got to my turn they told me that they don't accept card they only accept cash and i didn't have any cash in fact i haven't used cash for almost eight months so they were able to help me out and this is my food guys i was stabbing so i filled my plate because i was being greedy and i also realized that you can't you can't waste food so if you pick anything that anything you pick sorry anything you pick you need to finish it up if you don't finish it up then they're going to charge you for wasting food so that was it we had our food and we are now leaving so this couple literally helped me because I didn't have cash and they made me transfer my money onto their card and they withdraw and gave me cash so be they became my friend for the night we had a bit of um charts they were so lovely they were so good to me and that was it they were actually actually they wanted me to um go with them but like i'm like i don't know they were really nice to me and that was it so after that i continued to walk the streets of london i don't know what this is this um thing is called but i really wanted to try so bad but then again i felt like it would be nice to do with somebody so i didn't try then i decided to walk around the streets of london after having that 
food i had a lot of food so i was fully filled i was fully full so i decided to walk london and i saw this beautiful harry potter um harry potter and the cast child theater it's really huge so i went there i was walking around i saw people in this thing you know you know the funny thing about that thing i don't even know what it's called you connect your phone to the bluetooth and you play loud music and you'll be riding in town it's so beautiful and guys that is me on the streets of london just walking around with no direction and feeling sad and it was almost like i think it was two hours to 25th night well, I didn't have anything to do, so I decided to just walk around and explore the city. But um, besides, there were a lot of people um, in town walking around, so it didn't feel so lonely as compared to Birmingham. Look at the amount of people on the street doing absolutely nothing. So it was really fun just walking around, you know, um, talking to strangers, taking videos, and that was pretty much it. And John. Guys, as I was walking around, I came by this ice cream place, guys guys this is free promo to this traditional italian ice cream guys this is the best ice cream if you're ever in piccadilly circles in central london do well to try this ice cream i'm telling you there's, there's no sugar in the cream but i don't know how to do it it's so nice guys it's so nice i got this for 10 pound i know that's a lot of money but it was worth it and there were a lot of people i can't let this i can't play this video because co because of copyright so i had to mute it but these guys these indian guys were having the time of their life and there were lots of people there watching them taking video of them people were socializing it was really fun i got tired and i went back to my hotel and besides my phone was also my battery was dying so i'm like okay well let me just end it and go home because well how am I going to get back to my hotel if my phone dies? I need a new one and I don't know London that well. So I went back to my hotel and this is my hotel. So welcome to my room. Let me give you a little tour. So this hotel room was, um, was I got a huge um, discount on this room and um, it was a last minute thing. I didn't even plan on coming to London. I just didn't want to stay in Birmingham and be bored. And just stay at her just stay in my room and do nothing you know so i'm like okay i'm just gonna go to london by myself book a room and just walk in town get some food and see how london is because i hear good stories about how london is beautiful to celebrate christmas well i get to enjoy a little bit but it was the loneliest christmas ever in my life so yeah and good night i got tired and i went to bed so yeah enjoy Guys, this is me waking up on 25th night. I'm completely bloated. Look at my stomach from all that trash I ate last night. But <laughs> I know. <laughs> Christmas Eve and I'm just here by myself in a hotel. 
I miss my family. I'm just trying to be happy. It's so sad, you know. In a new country, um, no family there. I'm celebrating Christmas by myself. I know a lot of you be asking, why am, why am I not spending with my friends? Well, I'm working tomorrow, so I only have 24th, that's Sunday, and 25th off. And most of my friends are in London, and it takes four hours from Birmingham to London, and I work until you sit. So I was supposed to spend Christmas with my friend Alexa and her family, but she gets off work. 24th night that's Sunday and she celebrated Christmas from 24th night to 28 so even if I come here on 24th night there's no way I'm going to see her because she will be coming in if you are done because she works quite late and all you have a day that's 25th to spend half a day actually to spend Christmas with her and her family. So, if I go see her, I still have to go to Birmingham. Um, today. So I don't know how I'm going to go to hers and spend Christmas with her family and then go back to Birmingham today when I have work the next day. So I wanted to have lunch with her, but she can't because supposed to spend Christmas with some family so if I want to I have to go there and spend with her but I don't have time in between it's quite complicated I don't know if you get me so yeah, I chose to just come to London and just walk around the city and see how people celebrate Christmas in London and um I try to make the best out of it I try to make the best out of it. It's really sad, you know, and lonely in this country. And one of my friends in Birmingham, the Muslim, feels like she doesn't celebrate Christmas. The other is Christian, but she's going to Manchester to celebrate with her family there. with my sad story. Let's have fun, it's Christmas. Christmas. I'm moving, I, I have to check out this hotel. I spent, I'll check out of this hotel um, by 12, it's almost 11. So I'm going to quickly change and go for breakfast, then back to Birmingham. That's my Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this video. But hey, we come inside. Life still goes on. One more dance before I go off and change. Look okay. at back, fast Christmas, 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 Christmas. <laughs> I'm so I'm just trying to be happy now. Merry Christmas. Okay, bye guys.
not sure I'm not like this. Just okay, or she just make it. Wear my shoes. Okay. You're good. Oh. I hope you didn't hear that. Okay. You're ready to flip. You're ready to. I'm ready to go. Can I say goodbye to this room? That's my bag. Bye. Saying goodbye to this room. Hmm. That's my bag. No, but you're asking, why do I have a big suitcase? Yeah, because I have another jacket in it. So, that's pretty much it. Bye, guys. Saying goodbye. To this place. Uh -huh. It just smells so bad. Whew. guys so another disappointment this is the place i was supposed to go have breakfast but it was closed i didn't know that on 25th everything is closed in london or even in the uk i didn't know so i was just going there for breakfast and i realized that the street is empty everything was shut everything was closed now i'm hungry and i'm going i'm heading back to birmingham with no food so it was only starbucks that was open and this um breakfast place that i usually go but they decided not to do any breakfast today because it's a christmas um day so they had christmas breakfast or christmas lunch then i had to um the coach station to wait for my bus my bus delayed a little bit finally the bus is here so we're heading um in to um birmingham so yeah um this is inside the bus which is quite um decent so yeah and that's a queue and that's me getting inside to go look for a seat 
and I use the National Express coach, which is quite um, affordable. So that's pretty much it. I'm heading back to Birmingham, which is like a four hours drive from London. I got to Birmingham. It's quite late and I'm starving. So I'm going to go to the little um, restaurant close to my house. It's bigger and sauce to get a burger for for my dinner pretty sad i'm having burger for christmas eve dinner can you imagine that it's sad anyway i got my burger and that's me heading to my house very sad guys if i was home i would be having big meal fancy meal with my friends and family look at what i had for my christmas if this is my christmas eve dinner very sad anyway guys that was the end of my vlog i hope you enjoy make sure you subscribe you like and comment thank you guys i love you so much bye